All right, because tomorrow is St. Patty's Day, we're doing an Irish twist in Cook's Corner today. We're joined by Una Williams from Royal Temptations. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. You're dressed appropriately for Try the festivities. Yeah. Yes. So what are we making? We're going to make Irish soda bread. Mm. As we were talking, you said to me, you're English, aren't you? Uh. <laughs> and even my website says, yes, I have the very English accent. I did say yes. you sound English. I think yes. you're English. So why are you making well, an Irish dish? Yeah. Well, my parents were both born and raised in Southern Ireland. Okay. As I said, one of my uncles was Irish ambassador to Canada. So I said, I beat you lot hands down with uh, the Irish side okay. and I grew up on Irish soda bread okay we never had the cotton wool bread growing up we only ever had soda bread and I'm sorry the disgusting stuff in the stores with caraway seeds uh, okay. and that tastes bitter <laughs> it's not genuine Irish soda bread okay. well the most people don't like soda bread because it tastes you know when you bite your tongue and you get blood that metallic flavor if you can mm. think every of time that. I listen to Kevin I bite my tongue. Yeah, but, <laughs> yes. anyway, yeah. but that's okay. what's wrong with Irish soda bread in the stores the, the metallic from the baking soda puts uh, everyone off okay so you have to measure it very about carefully two minutes left. okay so so this, um, the big piece is regular Irish soda bread. The ones cut round the front are gluten-free Irish soda gluten bread. Gluten-free, oh, I can do you that. You know, okay. because my son's now gluten intolerant, so I'm changing um, all my recipes to, okay. to gluten-free for, yeah, for people. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. They've gone crazy. So in here, regardless of whether it's gluten-free or regular, it's two cups of real flour or a flour blend. Okay. And then... Um, I always did it with my mother's way, a couple of tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of sugar, the salt, yeah. and then baking soda and or... Baking soda being the soda. The soda that right? gives okay. the flavor. As I said, they didn't have baking powder before the 1850s, so this is what they had to use, baking you soda. Like I didn't know that. Of course, of course, of course, I course you that. knew it, yes, absolutely. Okay. And of course, they would have had buttermilk, the real stuff then, which okay. was the liquid left from churning your own butter. Okay. So it's all rubbed in that way. Um, with a bit of butter, where is my, gut? my Mix that buttermilk, put the butter throwing in. it in, Okay. and literally just stirring it, and the buttermilk, don't worry, I won't I splash you. A thousand dollar suit on. <laughs> oh, I thought it was only 900. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, Come on, Una. <laughs> yes. Look at this, it's sharp. We've got but, about a minute left. Yes. Okay. So then you're just stirring it together to get a nice soft dough, a little bit more okay. into it. Not a wet dough, but it's definitely soft. It's not dry like um, pastry, okay. and it's going to come into a nice little lump. And when it comes into a lump, we're going to pat it out into a ball about seven inches across. It's going to be about an inch high. Okay, and then you would bake that? And then you mark a cross on it, Okay. which, you know, religious-wise, you'd say it was to let the devils out, and it's the sign of the cross. Okay. But there's realistic behind it. It helps oh, the bread. My crossed me a lot. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. We've got about 30 yes. seconds left. If so, people want to, while you're cooking this, why don't you... It's on the website, okay. w, Ro I'm sorry, royaltemptations.com, okay. and I'm doing a load more gluten-free, as I said, and... This is what it looks like when it comes out the oven. Ah. That's a three quarters of it because I cut some off, and that's the cross. And it helps the br the bread rise. Otherwise, it doesn't help it to expand. All right, and Una. that's it. And it's really good. Una Williams from Royal Temptations. You're Thank you very much, and happy.